RuneScape's bestiary, the one-stop shop for all monsters, and one man is ready to take it on, and that man is the bestiary boy. Starting from level 1, we'll be taking out all monsters and working our way up, getting any requirements we need along the way, and eventually making it to our ultimate goal. Let's get to it. How's it going everyone? Welcome to episode 7 of Besting the Bestiary. If you guys are new here in the top right or in the description we have the playlist so you can go check episode 1 and get the full explanation and catch up on the series. But if you're returning then hello, how's it going? Just before we start I will say that I think the videos will just be taking me a little bit longer to make as we progress further. Just because basically all of the requirements and how convoluted some of this can get and and just me having to go back and double check some things may take longer than expected like for example the thug video from last week took me two and a half weeks but I just happened to get all the other videos backlogged and pre-made essentially but I am going to do my best to keep uploading once a week but just in case there isn't one on the day that I usually post rest assured that it is in the works without further ado let's start the episode okay starting us off on the combat bracket of 12 we've got a dungeon rat now there's two types with a large one and a small one and I'm not a hundred percent sure as of right this instant where the small one is so I'll have to I'll have to have a look around for that one but there he goes oh there they are over there I think I might need to start clock tower unless I can just get through oh never mind let's get this small dungeon rat level 12 easy peasy God, this update they did for the Trailblazer League is actually quite useful. So it turns out that the level 12 goblins that I have to kill right now are all in the God Wars dungeon. No other spawns anywhere else, which means I cannot do this. Level 12, Grave Scorpion. He went down like a treat. Oh, Clue Scroll Beginner. I'll do that eventually. All right, so we've got the level 12 female in West Ardy. That's one down. Looks like there's only one type of the level 12 woman and it's just this one here that I've already just killed but also just like the mourners in the last video, the level 11, I have level 12 ones to kill. I can't access anymore until I get through a little bit of biohazard so that's the next combat bracket actually so we're very very close. Time to take out a poor little uh, unicorn foal. Poor thing. So we're going to kill a ham guard and luckily we have enough thieving to get in here. Oh, the door's open anyways. I thought it was closed for everyone and then you had to do it yourself. Got a level 12 ham guard. Excellent. Another iconic one, the level 12 minotaur. These guys are all the same, so we'll just knock this one out. And then we've got the last thing in the level 12 tier, which is actually a slightly interesting one. So you might have peeped what the next monster is if you were looking carefully, but I will just tell you what it is now anyways. Next up, we're doing a small lizard. Now the reason this is a slightly interesting one is because I require 22 Slayer. I haven't really talked about Slayer at all yet, but now that I actually need something more than nine, I have to talk about it. I want to be going to the lowest combat Slayer Master, but the thing is, if they assign me a monster that's higher than level 12, I cannot kill it, which means I have to skip the level 22 Slayer. Like, I have to skip these lizards because I actually can't get a Slayer experience in order to kill it. I also don't have access to Turiel or anything because that's in Canopus, so I have one one shot, one opportunity, if I can capture it, or maybe I'll have to let it slip. Wait, did I say Tyrael before? I meant Mazkina, and I don't know why that would matter, because Tyrael is the one that you skip with. Forgetting about what I just said there, let's check what we get. 40 spiders, very doable. I'll probably just skip over the actual killing of the monsters. I'll chime in when it's actually time to get a task. Oh, actually, before I do cut out 55 magic, we have access to high elks and we have a ton of nature runes in the bank. That's going to be a good source of extra income as we move on. Next task, birds. Do I have to go back through the abyss? Oh, I can just, I can just kill chickens. That's all right. 38 rats. Looks like he's given me only really low level stuff, so I don't think I'm gonna run into a problem. Goblins. Gotta love some goblins. 29 dogs. Not bad. Wait, is that bad? 
Let me, I don't remember. I haven't killed any dogs yet, right? Hold on. Yep, I have been stopped in my tracks. I can't kill dogs. So therefore, I am now done with combat bracket 12. I thought that might happen. We had a good run. I got up to a 13 slayer. Let me see what we've got next. Yeah, okay. So small lizard can't do it now because I need to kill dogs. I think the lowest level one's 21. So we've got a bit of time until we can come back and do this. So let's just hit up combat bracket 13 oh it's looking a bit hefty actually and on memory just you know obviously we've just did it the mourner the mourners i can go back and kill the other mourners i believe potentially i'll at least get to kill one of them for the biohazard quest starting off we got something nice and simple the earth the fire the water and the air wizard over here so let's just kill captain planet i mean earth wizard down oh that's a cool animation actually water wizard down air wizard up next air wizard down lastly we just need to kill the fire wizard i feel like the other ones didn't say anything unless i wasn't paying attention i've only splashed on this one oh oh i can't kill him with fire spells oh oh god okay yeah that makes sense doesn't it I was sat here for like a full like minute. Oh my god. I didn't really come equipped for this guy. I, I didn't even think about it. Okay, fire wizard is down. Oh god, can't believe I didn't really notice that. Good to kill a level 13 goblin this time. There he is. There's a level 13 skeleton I need to kill, but the thing is going to start restless ghost quests in order to kill it. With things like this where I can kill something during the quest and I don't have to actually finish the quest, should I give myself permission to finish the quest and get the experience or just do the part up to what I need to kill? I'm not sure. So let's kill the giant frog level 13 since we're running past it. Excellent, giant frog down. Well, most people skip killing this guy. I'm one of the select few that actually do kill it. I'm just going to bank the skull and I will do it later, potentially, if I decide that I'm allowed to finish quests that I've already started. So I don't know, maybe I should just complete it. I'll think about it. I'm going to be trying to kill all the level 13 zombies and I just had a look and there is quite a few and they're all probably in different areas so i'm just gonna do my best and kill as many as i can it looks like there's some more 13 level 13 zombies in glarial's tomb which means time to start up waterfall let's do it better jump back in this dungeon again for waterfall but apparently like there's a second listing for this dungeon during waterfall quest on the wiki so maybe the zombies look different it looks like just this one i missed but i may have oh wait now it's a level 24 that's why i missed it oh god Never mind, forget what I said. Glarial's Pebble Acquired. I don't think I need to go any further into this quest. That's that. Here we are at Glarial's. Now I've just got to figure out which ones I haven't killed and then also dodge the Moss Guardians. Another detour, we're going underground pass, which means I need to do biohazard. And then I don't know how far I need to get into underground pass. So there may be a chance where I have to go too far where I have to actually kill something else. Time to start up biohazard. And also by doing this, I'm gonna knock off another level 13 on here being the mourner, which means I can also go back and complete the previous mourner things, potentially. I can't, I don't fully know just yet. Okay, while doing biohazard, we're killing that level 13 mourner and we get to tick something else off the list while we're doing something else. Okay, that's a mourner down. Get that key, tick him off the list. And I'll tick the zombie off once we're done with all the variants that I can find. Biohazard is complete. Now I just need to start underground pass and see how far I can get into it without actually having to kill anything. And it looks like I can just start right now. This says it's recommended to get these, but I'm going to skip it for now and see what I can do without actually getting these levels. I see that I also need to kill a blessed, a blessed giant rat in the underground pass. And also I need to kill a 
spider in the underground pass and that's about it for the extras on top of like hopefully finding some mourners of level either 11 or 12 but i might have to keep going for that as well so we've got to find the blessed rat the normal spider and the zombies as well it's been a while since i've done this quest the last time i did it i did it on an account that had 75 agility and i didn't fall once and now i have 13 Oh, this ain't good. But also, actually, while I'm here, there's some level 13 zombies in this little cemetery that I can uh, take out. According to the wiki, it looks like there is no turning back unless you re want to restart the entire dungeon. So if I have to restart the entire thing every single time I come in, I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit in trouble. I'm already failing on these mini rock slides. In hindsight, I should have brought better food. Actually, if I fail this, I lose my rope. So if I fail this, I am leaving and getting 40 agility and then coming back. I'll uh, see what happens. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, apparently, I don't. I need another rope if I need to come through here again. So let's just hope it's a one and done thing. This thing can deal 15 damage to my health if I fall. I know this. I don't think this one. This one's just a trial and error thing. Okay. No. No way. Did I actually just do that first try? Oh my god. What a god gamer. Look at me go. God, I am buzzing from that. Okay, we have a level 13 zombie here. There's a couple of them here, so that's good. So just remember, that whole grid, every one of those places had a chance for me to fall and it's random for every single person and it does 15 damage each time and I only brought sardines like an idiot. I just so happened to pick the exact correct ones. Oh. Okay, so unfortunately I've already killed all of these level 13 variants, except for the one I just killed of course. Okay, that's a lot of damage. This is where the thieving level comes in handy. Please. Ah. Oh. No. No. I forgot to empty my inventory. Please. Oh, that's bullshit. And apparently this crate gives me two salmon and two meat pies, so I'll just eat a little bit. Excellent. Now apparently if I had 50 thieving, I could skip the next step, which means... I'm not skipping the next step. Oh, would you would you look at that? Some blessed giant rats here, which is exactly what I need to kill. So let's get another one off the list. It's literally just these two of the two variants, the so one and two. You can see that that's a slight color differentiation there. And let's tick that off the bestiary list. One, two. Oh, actually, I just realized that level one rats are here, so we get to tick off another one of these. Easy as that. Hey, first one. Now, just all of this to go. Okay. 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 just it's just that easy guys it's just that easy wise words to live by oh god vietnam flashbacks to the thug kills okay i've reached a bit of a dilemma we have a unicorn level 15 this unicorn is not listed in the bestiary list on the wiki because i cannot physically say yo and attack it you know the only way to kill it is part of the quest by knocking this boulder down which i will have to do but i'm gonna call it and say this is a level 15 I am up to level 13 combat bracket. I cannot kill this unicorn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to progress just a little bit further into the quest because I think I can hit up. There's another zombie area. Yeah, this is a bit of a technicality. I kind of could just kill it because it's like not official, but I'm making it official. This also means I'm going to have to leave here. I can pass through. Okay, let's just see where we're at because there's the paladins that I need to kill as well just up here. So I couldn't actually get to the disciples of Ibn anyways. Oh, no. Nope, I've hit the zombies. I have hit the zombies. Let's get them. 
These are all the level 13s I can kill in this little area as well. I can't progress any further actually, I need to kill these guys. Looks like I'm actually done for the zombies then because this was the last place I needed to get to, I can't get in any further. Okay, so I have to kill a few people through the Hazel cult quest. I haven't started the quest yet, but I'm going to kill Clivet now and then I'll start Hazel cult. Excellent. Alright, starting up Hazel cult. I'm just going to probably skip through this one and I'll just head over to Alimony and the Hazel cultists. We've got the Hazel cultists and Alimony just over there. Gonna talk to Alamo and then should start attacking. Gonna do part of Eagle's Peak for the level 13 Kebit kill, meaning I need to get 27 Hunter. That's 27 Hunter. Here we are at the Eagle's Peak, and uh, now I've just gotta find the Kebit and then uh, kill him. Here we are. No problem at all. I'll take the feather, but I won't do anything with it. I will just leave this place and I'll come back another time. So these guys spawn summon zombies and they're level 13, but I think it's only if you attack them, but I figured I'd come and I'll just double check that he doesn't just spawn them randomly. And yep, it looks like he doesn't spawn them randomly. Gotta kill a chaos druid and I don't want to spend too much time here in the wildy because I am carrying uh, all of my good stuff pretty much. Chaos druid down, let's just quickly run away before I die. Okay, we've got the level 13 ice fiends to kill time to grab one of these rock crabs okay rock crab down at the end of the combat bracket 13 tier kind of crept up on me i wasn't really ready for it so let's just quickly run through the things we can't do so we can't do the disciple of ivan because as you saw i can't kill those level 62 paladins giant mosquito i need to complete cabin fever 150 combat there troll stronghold same as the last combat bracket that i had to kill something there and also for the large mosquito i need to do tire boy cleanup and i need to do jungle potion which is fine but the druidic ritual I actually can't get bear meat until I can kill a bear, which is 15 combat for the bear cub. So at 15 combat, I can come back, do druidic ritual, then juggle potion, then do tie cleanup to try to get a large mosquito. And I already said why I can't do the summon zombie a little bit earlier in this video. Just a few random closing words this time, you know, just want to say thank you very much for watching. Let me know how you're enjoying the series. Uh, also, let me know if I should keep adding technicalities like the unicorn. I mean, I can always remove that technicality but realistically it didn't actually get me any further in the quest than uh, like if I did kill it I couldn't get any further in the quest anyway so it doesn't really matter in this specific case but there might be more technicalities later on that I haven't thought about or just you know they'll obviously crop up whenever to close off the video I am going to just do a quick little speed up of me just alking stuff and cleaning up my bank a little bit just because I can now use those nature runes to tidy things up watch that if you're interested but if not just, you know, like if you liked and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.